Well, how do you do? This beautiful beer you see before you is number two I've had today. This is their Trisco Single Hop IPA. Now, I've never had anything like this. I haven't tried it yet. It pours beautiful, though, because it has a very thick, dense white head there. Part of, oh, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Talking to somebody single here. Hop uh, IPA, an American version of the classic English style. We continue our single hop series with the use of Triscoll hops, a variety from the Alsace, I don't know if that's pronounced right or not, region of France. You may detect a slight orange marmalade note imparted on the beer from the hops. So there you go. Again, I've never had anything like this before. They do several different versions of an IPA. Their hop that I just had is a Bavarian IPA. And they have this Triscoll single hop and they also do a Cascade single hop. So I'll probably try next just out of curiosity. Oh, wow. Um, I was actually detecting a tad bit of orange in the hop in the aroma. I'm actually getting a little bit more on this one. Along with some other things as well. Uh, again, of course, uh, that's a, just a gorgeous color. Kind of a, almost a sunset going on there. Now, he recommended, I just had the hop, and I probably should have started here. He recommended before I drank that to drink a little water, so I did, and I, I rinsed a little bit. He said it, it, it's very delicate. It is. Um, you may not even recognize it as, as what we've come to accept as an IPA because it's not huge, it's not big, it's in your face. The flavors, however, are absolutely brilliant. So in all that, I guess what I'm trying to tell you is uh, if, if, you, if you're just a single-minded hophead that doesn't care about balance or, or complete flavors and just wants that hophead, it might not be for you. But if you've got a palate for, for beer and like to try different things, like, like a nice balanced IPA, this one will do it for you. It gives you a lot of different flavors. You do taste that orange marmalade, as I say in the description. And he's right. It is. It does. I mean, it, it is. It is kind of delicate. I'm not sure if I didn't know what I was ordering. If somebody just handed me this beer, I'm not sure that I would personally recognize it as an IPA uh, because it is just incredibly balanced. It's, it, it, uh, I'm not even sure how to describe it to you. The finish is incredibly clean, incredibly crisp. But you don't get that, that big hop forward punch at the end as most typical American craft IPAs would give to you. That's what makes it different. But the orange is just beautiful. I see what he means about it being delicate, though. It isn't it is going to be for those folks that think every beer has to punch in the face. If you've got a, if you've got the taste buds that, that can really sort things out, this is going to be a beer you can enjoy or will enjoy. Hey Mike, is this one right? Is that it? Yeah, it should be it. Oh. Very nice indeed. Well, I don't want to run long, but I just want to share this with you. This is a very different beer. That's what I like about this place. Most of the beers are German influence, but this is from the Revolution series, which kind of goes a different direction with the beers. I'm a huge fan of Urban Chestnut, and since I was in St. Louis today, I really wanted to come here and check it out. I had the Hoffman, and now the Trisco. I think I'm going to go to the Cascade because I want to see the difference in the hops and in the two single hop IPAs. So there you go, man.